welcome back to my channel my name is Millie and today I am going to be transforming my flat boring straight hair into hopefully big beautiful corkscrew curls so I treated myself yesterday and I bought this it's a chopstick hair curler now I got this on Amazon yesterday and I've got Amazon Prime so it came this morning and I thought that I had ordered the Mark Hill one. This isn't the Mark Hill one. This is, just says Chopstick Styler, the hero. But it was only £20 on Amazon. So, I mean, I haven't really lost that much if it is rubbish, but let's wait and see. I'm hoping that my hair will turn out like this, but bigger, like this hair is flat sort of on the top here and then it goes into the curls I want the curls starting from the root coming out I want big bouncy beautiful curls I can visualize how I want it and um, so I normally use a normal curling wand this is the one that I normally use so it's quite thick it gives a sort of beachy curl I want something very different from this one and um, it has a rectangular barrel and you can change the heat which is good because some of the ones that I've seen you can't change the heat on it's just on or it's off um, so I will unpack this and get started so this is the curler it is super thin it is a rectangular shape i don't know how well you can see that but it is rectangular it's got a tip on the end of it so that you can sort of hold on to your hair there and you're not going to burn your fingers it's got a little stand here and it goes from 120 degrees to 210 I don't know how well you can see that, but it's got the heat on there. So I don't know if you can select it. And then it's got a curly wire on the bottom, which is good. Oh, and now I've got my top hole caught in it. That's great, isn't it? There we go. Always a professional. Right, so I will just plug it in and see how we go. So the on and off button is flashing, don't know how well you can see that, and 120 is lit up on there. Oh, and you keep on pressing the on and off button until you get to the heat that you want. So I'm going to go with the middle heat, 170. I don't often use heat on my hair, so I don't like to use a lot when I do. I don't like to use a very high heat when I do. I'm glad that it has this on the end to where it doesn't get hot because I still have a mark from the last time I curled my hair and that was nearly a month ago um, and it's still scarred. Um, so while that is heating up, I'm guessing it'll stop flashing when it's got to the temperature that I've chosen. Oh, but that is heating up quickly. Um, so while that's heating up, I will just section my hair off. So I'm going to take my ring off. I don't really know. I know that you'll need small. Oh, that's the ring has gone solid now. So that's only been like a minute. So that's good. So the tools that I'm using today, I've got a hairbrush, I've got two clip things, um, I've got hairspray but I'll probably just use that at the end and I've got a few hair bubbles but I think I'm just going to try and use the clips. So I've just got a really small section down at the back. I have already put heat protectant in my hair as well, so I will put the glove on. I don't know if you can see the texture, but it just feels like one of those exfoliating gloves, like what you get for taking off your tan. 
I don't know what I'm doing. I have never used this tool before and I've never used a tool this fine before. Um, so I'm just going with it. I'm just trying my best. Don't know what I'm doing. So I'm guessing that you need to get really small sections. Like is that small enough or is that too big? I don't know, I guess we'll find out together, won't we? But I want to go right to the root. And I don't know how long to hold it there for either. Apparently the benefit of it having the rectangular barrel shape instead of what you would think of as a curler is like a round shape it is meant to be better for your hair um it's meant to break like the bonds in your hair less than a regular round barrel apparently i don't know how long to hold this on for right so i'll let go the hair's not coming off oh there we go that, that is a corkscrew curl, if I ever did see one. I think I maybe need a smaller piece. And I'm not too worried about the direction that I'm going in just yet. I am just trying to get the hang of it. So I think I maybe need to hold it on there for about 10 seconds actually. I think I probably left that one on for a little bit too long, that first one. Oh, they're cute. It's not curling. Oh, it is a little bit curling right to the root. Right, so I think what I'll do is I'll wrap it round. And then I'll sort of twist the barrel back up towards my head. Ah, yeah, that's cute. So that's, I think that's the best way of doing it. So if you start a little bit further away and then sort of twist your hand so that it tightens it back in towards your head. So that's one side done. See the difference in the length. So as you can see that is how long my hair normally is. Quite long and it's now there. But, I mean, it'll probably relax a little bit. It feels like noodles. Like, the curl feels like a noodle. That's so funny. But that's the curl. I've got a little tail on that one, but I don't think there's much I can do about that now. Right, so now I'm going to turn this one off. I'm going to time lapse you on this one. And... Let's see how long this takes. I might even start a timer to see how long it takes me because I can imagine that this is going to take me a very long time to do. <laughs>
so I'm on my very last section now. And that is it. I'm just going to let it cool down for a moment so that it all sets a little bit. I'm going to hairspray it and then I'm going to like try and fiddle it out to make it how I want it to look. It feels insane. Like it feels so weird. So I don't know the best way to do this. I don't know like normally when I do my hair with the big curler I just sort of turn my head upside down and shake my head but I feel like if I did that with this I would turn into an actual poodle but I mean what have I got to lose I'm not leaving the house am I Why have I got one curl that's like significantly longer than the rest? Okay, that worked a little bit. I'm definitely going to have to recurl this one though. I'll just redo that. That's better. I think what happened there was halfway through my curler turned off and I didn't realise straight away and it probably just got too cold to do the curl properly. I think what I'm going to do is just sort of go around and sort of split some of the curls just a little bit, sort of tease them out a little bit. Okay, note to self, don't brush them because when you brush them, they go like that. So you can see the difference in the sides, I mean I know I've got all of this up here that is obviously like my parting's here so this is sort of going over but this is a lot more how I imagine that I would want to wear it whereas this just feels a little bit crispy and also this is like shorter pieces here at the front because I used to have a fringe um, so I'm just running my fingers through. Okay, so I would say that that is pretty much the finished look. Let's see how long that took. One hour 35. And I didn't start the timer straight away, I started after I'd done that whole um, bottom layer. So I would say probably about an hour and three quarters, like an hour and 45 minutes. It's probably one of those things that I'll get quicker over time as well. Like I probably was quite slow. Um, but yeah. I like the finished effect. I like the crazy 80s curl. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like it's got loads of volume, obviously, loads of movement. It doesn't feel crispy now that I have like brushed the curls out a little bit. I feel like I want to see how it looks after like a day and two days and three days. So it is now two o'clock in the afternoon on, what day is it today? Tuesday. Um, Tuesday the 30th it is today. So let's see how this looks over the next couple of days. I hope it stays nice. <laughs> So it is the very next day, today it is Wednesday the 1st and I had to check that and I literally said the day yesterday, I knew what the day was yesterday. And I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit weird in this little clip, I wanted to try and film this during the day but hay fever has absolutely had my life today. I don't know if you can tell, my nose is red raw, I've been sneezing all day long but I wanted to show you my hair. So. 
this is how it's looking you can literally see here where i've been like leaning on my hand and like trying to like just play with it because it feels so funky it's like flattened here like there's not very much there whereas here there's so much volume here i'm still obsessed i still love it i'm still really glad that i bought it um so this is how it looks the day after i did sort of do it up into like a little bun thing like this when i went to bed so that i wasn't like laying on it and like crushing it all night and it came down looking like this and this is how i've had it all day um but yeah i'm still fully obsessed with it i'm not sure that i would do it very often because it did take me like the best part of two hours to get it like this in the first place but if it's the sort of hair that will last for like a week then that's worth it for me so that is my check-in and i'll check in again with you tomorrow so it is day three it is thursday the second i have to get used to knowing what the date is quarantine life <laughs> yes it's thursday the second it's the third day that i have had this hair so i put it up in a bun on the top of my head again like i did yesterday and i went out today with my hair still up in that bun and it was raining really really hard so i feel like that has flattened it out a little bit it is sort of flattening out like at the roots there isn't obviously the volume that there was whenever i first did it but the ends are still looking pretty good i will just show you it from the back but yeah i'm still really pleased with how it's like lasting it's still got so much of the curl and like i feel like i've been playing with it a lot and i've had it up a lot for a lot of the time because i've just been in the house and i don't want it like in my face but i was thinking it might look nice I was thinking that this would be a really nice sort of hair do to do like the morning that you go into like a festival. I mean obviously nobody's going to a festival at the minute but you get my drift. <laughs> so I just wanted to see sort of how it would look done up into like little space buns on the top of your head. Not that I go to festivals, not that I would ever go to a festival, but and you could 100% put like glitter and stuff in this or put like, I see people do like French plaits into the buns and that looks really, really cute, but I can't do that on my own head. I'm not coordinated enough to do that but you can still see the texture in the hair and I feel like it wouldn't get as greasy with it having all of that volume in it but yeah I like it so that is it for my check-ins now thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did I would really appreciate it if you could give it a really big thumbs up and until next time thanks for watching